I mean, if you're gonna rethink electrolytes, if you're gonna try to do some backdoor to create better electrolytes, I mean, they're definitely trying with this product. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna do a little review on this, Genius Electrolytes. Electrolytes are something that now I take almost every single day. And for a long time, I would never even pay attention to my electrolytes. They play a huge role on if someone has a heart attack or if they don't. Like for example, if you run out of magnesium, or potassium, your heart will pretty much just stop. So there's something you always wanna have in your diet. And they are in some foods, but unless you're actually focusing and paying attention, you know what I mean, you're probably not gonna know. And then on top of that, you know, for somebody who sweats, you sweat out more electrolytes. If you're somebody who drinks, like you're gonna need more electrolytes. So Genius is a brand that I've always really liked. They seem to use really clean ingredients. They try to do something outside the box with their blend, and they don't use artificial dyes and colors, which I absolutely Absolutely love. Thankfully, almost all the kinds of electrolytes that I've tried don't contain any artificial colors. And my main go-to is the Keto K. It's, a lot of people copy the Keto K blend. It's actually one of my favorites. It's pretty much the only blend that I've seen that carries a full gram of potassium. And apparently you're supposed to have four grams of potassium a day. So the strongest brand that I found only contains one gram. I definitely want to get my hands on it. But on to Genius Electrolytes. Now, one thing I will say about Genius electrolytes is this is a completely unique blend this is very well thought out this is not a clone this is really I mean if you're gonna rethink electrolytes if you're gonna try to do some backdoor to create better electrolytes I mean they're definitely trying with this product so they use a lot of interesting compounds like they use this magnesium only at 50 milligrams but it's this magnesium biglycine chelate so essentially chelated minerals somehow increase the absorption so it's chelated and it's magnesium biglycinate, meaning that it's magnesium fused with glycine. And glycine, from my understanding, is supposed to just put more water in your body and also water in your brain. So I don't know if having this mixed with magnesium is somehow crossing into more barriers, if it's making it stronger, I'm not too sure. And then you got, you know, vitamin C. I don't really know why they put that in there. That is supposed to increase absorption, but it's not in any other mixes. Now zinc, zinc is another really strong one. They only have one milligram of zinc in here. Now you don't actually need that much zinc, but it is that zinc biglycine chelate as well. So it is chelated, which is going to, I think, increase absorption. And then it's also mixed with glycine again. So I don't, I'm not, I'm not too sure exactly how that works, but every time that I've looked it up online, it seems to be very, very potent, like one of the most strong, well thought out versions of zinc and magnesium that you would come across. They love mixing glycine with everything because they mix their glycine with their selenium as well. Now, I don't know enough about selenium, but it is in all these mixes. You got sodium and then potassium here. You have potassium bicarbonate and phosphate. Now, I'm pretty sure when I looked up potassium bicarbonate, it's for people with really, really low levels of potassium. And I think they said that you can only put 100 milligrams of that in a supplement. You're not allowed to sell one serving over 100 milligrams, which is weird. I don't know, is it so strong? I don't get it, because you need four grams of potassium a day, but you're only allowed to have 100 milligrams of this kind. So I don't know if it's like potent or there's some side effects, I don't know. Then you have this cherry that contains the vitamin C, and the last thing is this sustenamine. They even advertise this like quite a bit if you look uh, on the website. So it seems like one of the selling factors. I definitely looked it up once. It seemed pretty interesting, but I'd have to try it on its own and maybe see some testing about it. Maybe I'll put that on screen, but that is one of the bigger things that separates this apart. You can even see it right there, that sustenamine. And this is the only electrolyte mix that I've seen that contains it. So. I really like this supplement. Um, I don't know if I would stick to this one or the Keto K. I think this was about 20 to $25 for 30 servings. The Keto K is 50 servings for about 32. So they're pretty close, pretty similar. Keto K had lots more of these minerals, but I think Genius makes this argument on their website that having ingredients that are more potent allows you to not take any extra filler or take anything extra. So I really like this product, guys. I really like that it has 400 milligrams potassium, although that's not to the one gram that I want. Most brands put about 250 milligrams potassium. So you're over the 250 
50 milligram mark and you have these really really potent versions of these supplements that are supposed to be much much stronger so maybe you'd have some side effect taking like grams of something or like a big dose of something but maybe taking a little bit or taking these smaller doses that are stronger would eliminate some side effects, I'm not too sure. But, oh yeah, the taste, lemon lime. So all the tastes that with electrolyte mixes that I've tasted aren't really the best. This one's kind of tied with my favorites. Um, there's like a keto cave flavor of raspberry lemon, and I really do enjoy that one. But this one also is lemon lime tastes really good more of a lighter taste but it has no artificial sweetener so i mean that's what i would prefer let me know what you think of genius electrolytes let me know what electrolytes you use down below we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace